Josh Frydenberg's budget seeks to keep the economic recovery going after the COVID-19 pandemic. And the growth is impressive, at least in the short term. GDP will hit 3.5% after an extraordinary 3.75% result for this year. The budget's got tax cuts, a strong infrastructure program, important housing measures and extended investment incentives. The property industry is once again being called on to continue to drive Australia's economic momentum. But we do have a dark cloud on the horizon. The budget has revealed that our closed international borders are set to hold back Australia's economic trajectory. Net overseas migration will be a negative 77,000 people next year, with a gradual return of temporary and permanent migrants assumed to occur through 2022. The return to normal rates of migration is not expected until well into 2024-25. The implications of this are stark. Employment growth downshifts to just 1%. Dwelling investment flatlines before falling and GDP growth drops back to 2% after two years. The budget has demonstrated that population growth is not an optional extra for Australia. The Property Council is calling for a major upscaling of our quarantine and border processing capacity to boost the economy and do that in a way that keeps Australians safe. This budget shows a remarkable economic recovery, but without a return to normal population settings, it won't last.